Today we will try how to create a VPC in AWS using Terraform open source modules. As we have seen, Terraform provides various open source modules for cloud providers. We can reuse in our project. Or you can build custom modules with that we will see in the next session. For now, either already we have seen uh, what is Terraform model. So here is the official link. I will share in our document. A very simple one. So here, here we can see there are a model over you. As you manage your infrastructure with Terraform, you will create increasingly complex configuration. There is no intrinsic limit to the complexity of a single Terraform configuration file out directly. So it is possible to continue writing and updating your configuration file in a single directory. However, if you do, you may encounter one or more problems. So in Terraform model, understanding uh, the navigating the configuration file will become increasingly difficult. Updating the configuration file will, will become more risky as an update one more section may cause unintended consequences to other parts of your configuration. So uh, these are the some drawbacks uh, like in Terraform configuration. Uh, and also uh, if you write more Terraform code, uh, Engineers will need more Terraform expertise to understand and modify your configuration. So this makes self-services workflow for other teams more difficult in slowing down their developments. So that's why we can use Terraform model. What? So here is an explanation what models for. We can use model for organized configuration. So models make it easier to navigate, understand, update your configuration by keeping related part of your configuration together. So even moderately complex infrastructure can require hundreds of or thousands of line of configuration to implement. So by using models, you can organize your configuration into logical component. Then uh, next advantage is encapsulate configuration. So another benefit using model is to encapsulate configuration into a distinct logical component so this can help prevent unintended consequences such as change to one part of your configuration accidentally causing changes to other infrastructure. So to reduce this, we can uh, it helps for encapsulating. Then we can use a reuse configuration. So if model can be used anywhere for any other resources, then it provides consistency to ensure best practices. So models also help to provide consistency in your configuration. Not only does consistency make complex, uh, also helps that best practice to apply across all your configuration. You can go through this, then you can use self-service. Uh, other, other team also can use. Then uh, using models can help reduce these errors. So like that's why Terraform model. Then what is Terraform model? So model is nothing but set of Terraform configuration file in a single directory. Even a simple configuration consisting of single directory with more one or more dot tf files, you know, is a model. Then uh, like this root model contains any models we can identify contains license, readme.md, main.tf, variables, and outputs. And we can call models in the main.tf binding variables. Then how we can call models? So directly, just you have to clone the repo or copy the code, and then add the models. Then we can call directly using Terraform init plan apply. Or you can use chat model by navigating to other remote directory so in this model can models can be a local you can use first you can clone your system then you can use or you can call by remotely 
Uh, then these are the some model best practices. Uh, some rules are there. So next scenario, we will try how to create a VPC in AWS using Terraform model. I have gone through. This is a registry dot Terraform dot IO, which contains our different models are there. Here, one of the link is here. Uh, if you navigate to models, Terraform. Models. Here we can see number of models. VPC, I am lambda out this one. Now we will try how to create a VPC using Terraform model. Here, this is a source code repository uh, by Terraform. Terraform is created. Uh, here are some examples of what type of VPC we want to create. Like uh, here, we will take uh, some example. Here, given is usage, how we can use. Just you have to give model VPC. This is a, a source path. This one, it will call from Terraform official size registry, okay, which contains all the models. Then if you PC name, I will leave it a zone, you can change. If you want to enable navigator, you can do this. Okay. So let's try this and you can hide. Uh, here is some instruction is given. Uh, in this, after this source, you have to try uh, what Terraform version we want to use. So same like uh, let me open my Visual Studio code. Here I have created directory, create VPC. Then I created main dot tf file. Uh, I have copied a uh, provider AWS given my range. Then access key secret key. In real time scenario, don't use access key secret key directly. You can use directly from AWS Secret Manager or Terraform variables or anywhere. This is for just demo. Then as per this instruction, we have copied this code. Okay. This will call a model VPC. This will call from Terraform official site registry, Terraform registry version as per instruction. Here is given this one. You should use this version 3.18.1 here. Then I we have given the VPC name demo, then shared air block. That region is AP South 1. You can change. Then here we are keeping availability zone AP South 1A, 1B. You can modify uh, these codes. Like here is given three region, private subnet, how many? Three private subnet, three public subnet, enable NAT gateway, enable VPN gateway, tags of this one. For now, we have changed only two, we need only two availability zone. We will going to create only basic VPC, then only one private subnet, this range, then another public subnet, one private subnet, one public subnet. With this range, you can change the CIDR block, then enable NAT gateway true. And then we don't need a VPN gateway. That's why we have removed this. Then the tax Terraform true environment is dev. You can change any environment. So like this, uh, you can um, you can create a folder. You can call this this model. Yeah. Then uh, <clears throat> if you want to do a custom configuration then you can go to this directory there here are files you have to understand how this one then you can change accordingly as per your our need okay 
So that's why the main advantage is that by writing one by one code is very difficult. So that's why Terraform provides ready-made models. You can change into and you can adopt it. So for now, the single VPC. So let's, I have a login to our AWS account with the region episode one a let's open terminal terminal let's first command is terraform in it Initializing backend, Terraform initializing successfully. Next command is Terraform. Plan. If you get any error, uh, it will show. Okay, so our configuration is okay. This will going to create all these components within a VPC, EIP address, internet gateway, NAT gateway, private NAT gateway, public internet gateway, route tables, all this one. So these models contains all the component of VPC. Next command is there are four. then type yes let's wait till it complete it will take a few seconds to complete and uh, let's go to the AWS console, click on VPC, we, uh, this will appear VPC dashboard, here we can see two VPC, uh, we have given name VPC demo with this CIDR block, this private subnet, public subnet, it's VPC is getting created demo let's click on this vpc this we can see cidr block 10.0.0.16 and uh, here we can check two submits for this vpc so we can copy this vpc id we can filter out Submits using by VPC name only two submit. One is the private, another is the public. Let's check on private submit. Then we can see route table. There is only one routes. Public submit. There are two routes. One is the internet gateway. We are not creating. Uh, okay, here we can see apply is complete. Okay, 
here and see it out. Let's not out. Okay, NAT gateway we have enabled. That's why it is showing NAT gateway. Then we can see internet gateway using uh, this PC ID. Demo internet gateway. Demo this elastic IP. Okay, like this you can use. So in real time scenario, we have to model as per your requirement or customization. You can modify. So your time you will save. You can use like this one. So let's delete this VPC. Command is there of form. Delete. Terraform destroy. Terraform. Then type yes. It will delete all the terraform VPC and their documents. Okay. 